So this is the final follow-up video with uh, how Chubby the Cat was found, a true story. But I wanted to note the map at the end, which shows Chubby's route from the veterinary's office, past the green truck and the wrecked car, and where he ended up here at the mobile home. Uh, all the red path is where uh, Karen and Denise had searched. And from the veterinarian to Chubby's house was five miles distant. So I wanted to share in the back, they have what to do when a pet is missing. And I figured this was good information. People love their cats, dogs, and horses. They are like family members. When a pet is missing, lost, or stolen, the owner's world is turned upside down. A roller coaster of emotions takes over. You worry all day and you can't sleep at night. There is no guarantee that you will find your pet, but you need to make a plan and you need to make it to begin immediately. Ask a friend to walk around your neighborhood with you to look for your pet. Bring treats or food. Call your pet and then wait a while to see if he comes out of a hiding place. Knock on doors and talk to people out for a walk or walking their dog and ask if anyone has seen your pet. Post and hand out flyers in all directions of where your pet was last seen within a two to five mile radius. Include photos of your pet and your phone number that is hooked up to an answering machine and post a flyer at the police station, town hall, library, stores, animal shelters, restaurants, gas stations, pet stores, and the highway department. If your pet has been microchipped, go to the web page of the chip registry to update the microchip registry information, phone numbers, your veterinarian, and your contact info. Have the registry flag the registration, noting your pet is lost or stolen. Call and go to the local animal shelters yourself within 20 miles of, of your search to look at the pets that have been brought in at least every other day if possible. The animal might be dirty or neglected looking, so your description might not match what you tell them over the phone. Your pet might, might not be listed yet or may have, their lo may have lost their collar or tag. Some shelters do not keep pets for more than a few days or they try to adopt them out quickly. So you must keep checking often. Call animal control and the local police department and ask if any pet has been picked up. Post your missing pet info online on social media and missing pet sites and in local and surrounding area newspapers. The last resort is to check highway departments or shelters for deceased animals. Of most importance is to never give up hope. Many people are happy to help you find your pet. And then their mission, uh, our mission, How Chubby the Cat Was Found, is a true story about a lost cat named Chubby and how his owner never gave up hope of finding him and did everything possible to find him. The story is an emotional adventure with an uplifting happy ending and relates to all people who love animals, have owned animals, or have lost a pet. It includes suggestions for what to do when a pet is lost or missing, and may help to save pets' lives and reunite them with their families. That's why we want other people to read and share Chubby's story. We, want, we don't want anyone else to go through this if we can be of some help with this book. Karen Howe. And then here's Chubby back at home. He's eating his chicken and gravy. Chubby was adopted by Karen. He's a normal weight for an adult cat, but he was probably a lovable roly-poly kitten, hence the name Chubby. Being outside for a month, he did lose a couple pounds. Karen is feeding him an extra meal now that he is home recovering from his cat adventure. And that is the story of how Chubby the Cat was found, along with some follow-up tips for what to do if you are to lose a pet. So 
I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you never lose a pet. And I'm so glad that Chubby the, Chubby the Cat was found. So join me next time for another story time with Maven. See what we read next. Bye-bye.